Enjoy all your favorite sports like never before at BetMGM. Sign up using code Hawkeye and receive up to $1,500 back in bonus bets if you don't win your first bet. When you register with BetMGM, you'll get instant access to a variety of parlay selection features, live betting options, player props, and the best daily promotions in the business. And with BetMGM at your fingertips, every play and every game matters more than ever. Place your money line, prop, and parlay bets with the king of sports books today. BetMGM and GameSense remind you to play responsibly and offer resources to help you make appropriate choices. BetMGM.com for T's and C's. 21 plus to wager. Iowa only. New customer offer. All promotions are subject to qualification and eligibility requirements. Rewards issued as non-withdrawable bonus bets. Bonus bets expire seven days from issuance. Please gamble responsibly. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-BETS-OFF. So if you're looking for some merch, check your girl. Support the She Gets It podcast by getting you some merch. You know what I'm saying? You get some merch. You support. You get a little something, something out of it. You become a representative, an affiliate for She Gets It podcast. And I have sweatshirts on there, hoodies, t-shirts, whatever you need is on the She Gets It shop. Shop with Teespring. I'll go ahead and put the link up. Let's get back to the show. What up, y'all? This is Shan, your girl. You already know. <sighs> she gets it, podcasts. All right. What's real anyway? I'm being very blunt with y'all this season. I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, last episode, y'all are eating that up, huh? There's <laughs> a lot of women out here trying to learn how to receive a good man. Good. I like it. This is season seven, episode twenty three. Thou shall not beg for support. Okay? We are not begging people to support us. We are not on our knees for people to support us. If you're doing that other thing, good luck to you. When people want to support you, they research. They find a way to support you. They go to your website. They do their Googles. They uh, figure out what channel you're on. Do they, they do their searches. They look up your hashtags. They're asking And they're doing their part to figure out where your product is, where your services are, um, where you're showing next time. Like, they don't have to keep asking you, um, how can I support? Um, How can I buy your stuff? It's on my IG. It's on my Twitter. It's on my Facebook. It's on my business cards. It's uh, on the card that I gave you a few weeks ago. Like, people always front like they they want to support you or might scroll through and look at all of your pictures all of your product and then still when they see you face to face oh hey you need to give me your website girl if you wanted to buy something from the website it'd been up there man if you wanted to buy something from the website it'd been up there if you wanted to order a book it'd been up there if you wanted to figure out like what i event i got going on it'd been up there people love fronting like they want to fake support You don't need it, okay? The people that's going to support you are probably going to be strangers first before it's the people that you know. We have to stop focusing on who wants to support you, okay? Whoever wants to support you will support you, period. Stop being worried about who your people are. The people who are your people will show up. They will come through. They will never be empty-handed, okay? Is very, 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 very um, important that you don't beg for help. You don't beg for um, kudos. You don't beg for people to show up for you because those are the people that are going to give you a yes when it's really a no. Those are the people that are going to make empty promises that they can't keep. So just focus on your work. Just focus on the effort that you're putting in on yourself. You're investing in yourself. Do that. That's what you're supposed to do. Stop throwing yourself on doorsteps. If people don't want you, don't give them multiple times to tell you in different ways that they don't want you. 
they don't want anything that you're selling or they don't care about uh, what you're creating. Okay, just leave it alone. People love to help people who help themselves. Investors, um, angel investors, those are people who love to help people who are fully engulfed in their passion, fully engulfed in what they're doing. That's why they <laughs> look for people who really need investors for an idea, um, a proposal, a uh, prototype, a business deal, okay? They're looking to invest in a good idea. People love to help people who help themselves. Promote yourself, invest in yourself. That's what you can do. Don't worry about who's not, who didn't show up, who won't. Invest in yourself. Keep creating, keep reading, keep revamping your goals. Sometimes you're just going to have to alter a few things, erase some, some stuff, make this I a capital Make this uh, us a you. Like sometimes you're just going to have to rearrange some things. Sometimes you might go from being a duo to solo. It's okay. You know, just keep focused. Keep pushing forward. Always improve on what's not working. So if you have product or you have a service that nobody wants to order, um, product is not moving, figure out a way to get that product to move. Maybe you might want to offer a promotion on it. Maybe you might want to lower a price. Maybe you might want to take that product completely off the website because nobody's really checking for it. So you're wasting um, product space. You have to be the first person to critique your items. You have to look at your own analytics. You have to look at what the people are looking at. You have to look into what the people want. You have to constantly fi figure out what concept works for your business. What concept works for um, your show. What concept works for your viewers, your listeners. All of that is something you constantly have to be paying attention to. Always, you always want to improve on what's not working. And you have to know what your purpose is. That way, no one can come up to you and tell you what you should do, what you need to do in order to make something pop. You know what's going to make something pop because you created that thing that's popping. Always make sure that you're learning more than what you tell others, okay? If you get to a point in something you're creating, um, producing, or providing, and you feel like you know it all, you're losing because <laughs> businesses get erased, deleted, removed because people feel like they know the business. But business is always revamping itself because people always want to figure out a way to get things faster, get more of something and get it for cheaper. So you have to always be looking at how to get things faster, <laughs> um, more of it. And for a lower price, that way you can provide it on a bigger scale to more people. Make it more accessible, okay? Um, always think about what your needs are. What do you need out of the business? What is the goal out of the business? What do you need your viewers to get from your product? What do your viewers want? What do your listeners want? What's going to make them keep coming back? What is going to make them choose this over that? And let people know how people can help. People are always looking for a way to support. You could support online. You could support um, by sending X amount of dollars in to uh, PayPal, um, Cash App, Zello, uh, Zelly. Is it Zelly or some shit like that? Whatever, however they can support, always make that not something that's hidden. If people have to dig and look for something in order to support you, the problem, they're probably not going to do it. But if it's something that's there that's available, they don't have to bombard you and ask you and hunt you down to go ahead and support, they're more than likely they're going to do it. Okay? Always provide a way, um, information on how people can support. If you look into my podcast show and you scroll down in the feed on Apple Podcasts, 
you can see in the details where it tells you how to support the show, okay? And when people support a podcast show, you might support in um, being able for me to go ahead and pay for a website platform, being able for me to go ahead and put X amount of dollars in to provide a certain product, um, a way for me to improve the show. I could buy better mics. I could buy um, more equipment. I can buy uh, merch, uh, anything that's going to pro- provide some sort of betterment to sound, equipment, development, uh, events. I could throw events for you guys, being that you supported the show. So there's always a way to support. Whoisshan.com is a way to support through either buying books that I have that are being sold on Amazon. Um, I did have artwork on the website. I don't have any artwork up there right now, but I have tons of artwork in my house because I, um, did an art show with a friend, Katie, for Craft Trap, and I have artwork in here, but it's just sitting because I haven't put it somewhere where it's accessible for people to see or buy, so nobody knows that it's just sitting in my house. So you have to make yourself easy to be accessible in order for people to support or um, have your product. It can't be a secret between you and you. It got to be something that's out there so so people can get it. Um, Another thing we need to do if you're looking for more people to support you is be clear about how people can support. Okay? Don't, Don't make that a secret. Period. And last but not least... You can just be direct, be upfront, and be just confident about what you bring to the table. Hi, my name is this. I create. I do a show. Here's my show. Do you have cards that have your show on it? Do you have posters that has your show on it? Um, If somebody's standing at a bus stop, would they know that you have a podcast show? If someone's at an event, um, would they know that you have a podcast show? What is the cards? What is the your podcast doing just sitting on a platform? You have to be your own marketing team all the time. You have to be willing to have discussions with people you probably don't know you're meeting for the first time. Don't do it if you're going to half-ass it, okay? And it doesn't have to be uh, dealing with anything that I do. Don't have a talent for art if you're not going to do something with it. Do something with it. Not everybody can do art, so if you can do art, do something with it. Do not beg people to support you, but make a way that you can be supported, accessible to other people. That's it. That's the episode. Very straightforward, very direct, very honest. My name is Shan. I gotta go. Um, It is 4 a.m. in the morning and I'm acting like I'm not a total parent out here. Peace. Hey listeners, if you're looking for a way to support the She Gets It podcast, check the show notes. Check the show notes in Anchor FM. Check the show notes on Apple Podcast app. It tells you how you can support the show. That way I can get better for you. <laughs> so I can be better for us. Enjoy all your favorite sports like never before at BetMGM. Sign up using code Hawkeye and receive up to $1,500 back in bonus bets if you don't win your first bet. When you register with BetMGM, you'll get instant access to a variety of parlay selection features, live betting options, player props, and the best daily promotions in the business. And with BetMGM at your fingertips, every play and every game matters more than ever. Place your money line, prop, and parlay bets with the king of sportsbooks today. BetMGM and GameSense remind you to play responsibly and offer resources to help you make appropriate choices. BetMGM.com for T's and C's. 21 plus to wager. Iowa only. New customer offer. All promotions are subject to qualification and eligibility requirements. Rewards issued as non-withdrawable bonus bets. Bonus bets expire seven days from issuance. Please gamble responsibly. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-BETS-OFF.